Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at ultrasound images of a teenager who presented to emergency department with right-sided scrotal pain. Clinical team was concerned for testicular torsion. Let's look at the ultrasound images. On the ultrasound images, we have straddle view or the buddy view. So we have normal appearing left testicular echotexture. On the right side, the testicle is enlarged with heterogeneous echotexture. On the color images, we have normal color Doppler signal on the left side. No color Doppler signal is identified on the right side. So we have a small right-sided hydrocele. We have a soft tissue mass along the lateral aspect of the right testicle. And as I scroll through, we can again see there is no flow identified in the right testicle. No flow was also seen on the power Doppler imaging. Heterogeneous echo texture of the right testicle is re-demonstrated. No flow is identified on the pulse Doppler imaging and also on the spectral Doppler imaging. Right epididymis is normal in size but no color Doppler signal is identified. Again we see the soft tissue mass like lesion lateral to the testicle. Normal flow is identified in the left testicle on both color Doppler and spectral Doppler imaging. Normal flow is identified in the left epididymis. Straddle view with pulse Doppler imaging again demonstrates enlarged right testicle without any internal flow. I'm going to scroll through the scene images. So this is the normal spermatic cord containing both testicular artery and pampiniform venous plexus. As I scroll down inferiorly, we can see the spermatic cord is increasing in size. And as we follow these internal structures of the spermatic cord, we can see it is having, we can see swirling of the contents of the spermatic cord which appears like a soft tissue mass lateral to the testicle. So our patient has enlarged right testicle without vascularity. Imaging appearances are consistent with acute testicular torsion. Patient was taken to OR and the findings were confirmed. There was approximately 360 degree torsion of the spermatic cord. Upon detorsion, blood flow was restored to the testicle. Patient underwent bilateral orchidopexy. This is a nice review article published recently in Applied radiology journal, few salient points from the article. Patients usually present with acute scrotal pain, swelling, nausea and vomiting. There are two types of testicular torsion. One is extra vaginal testicular torsion which is primarily seen in utero or neonates. Most common torsion which we come across clinically is intravaginal testicular torsion which is related to what is called as bell clapper deformity. In this variant, the tunica vaginalis attaches high in the spermatic cord. This leads to freely floating epididymis, distal spermatic cord and testis within the intravaginal space. Illustrative image from Radiopedia website. So this is the normal appearance which is seen in most patients where the tunica vaginalis does not extend into the spermatic cord whereas in bell clapper deformity, the tunica vaginalis inserts high into the distal spermatic cord and this leads to the free floating of the epididymis and testis within the tunica vaginalis akin to clapper rattling within the bell. So in this scenario some patients can have torsion of the spermatic cord as we saw in our patient. So in terms of imaging appearances as we saw on the straddle view or the buddy view we can demonstrate increased size abnormal echo texture on the affected side with small hydrocele and on the color Doppler imaging absent or significantly reduced color Doppler signal on the symptomatic side when compared to the asymptomatic side is highly predictive of testicular torsion. Also we have to remember that perfusion can be maintained to the periphery of the testis on color Doppler imaging but this finding in the absence of preserved perfusion to the center of the testicle is abnormal. As we saw in our patient we can have what is called as whirlpool sign where there is spiral change in the course of the spermatic cordon on either grayscale or color Doppler imaging. Also in the setting of bell clapper deformity, there can be redundant spermatic cord called as torsion knot. I hope you found this case of acute testicular torsion interesting and informative. Thanks for your attention.